today lesson we are going to discuss about cylinder and uh, cylinder cylinder is a is a structure and a container in form of a drum the buckets you have at home there the can tank you have there at home those are now what we call the cylinders and we're going to formulate a cylinder here because a cylinder is formed from different parts and those parts are the ones that we call faces those are the parts that we call faces now when we look at uh, I, where I am here you can see I'm holding a, a piece of a, of a carton box now you can fold this one to form a cylinder and the, the way it is what it will form, it will form a cylinder now if you look at it now that is uh, our cylinder you can look at it, it has the circular end it has the other circular end, the other side now what's the name given to this circular end? this is called a circle the other one is called a circle what's the name given to this place the one that we have made it to bend the way it is the mathematical term we use is called curved surface so this is called curved surface because we have made it to become in a bent shape now when you open like this now you see it has formed a shape this shape is a rectangular shape so this is a curved surface this is a curved surface now you can see this length here this length here this length here has come from the circle and the length from the circle is known as circumference is known as circumference and then we have the height we have the height the height now becomes the width of the of our curved surface now we will now to develop a, 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 a lesson. We have a question here that I want us to put in place so that we know. And then we continue and see how can we work out now the area for that cylinder. I will write the question down. A cylinder. Cylinder container has cylinder container has a diameter has a diameter of one point four meters and height and height two meters what is the what is the total surface area now first of all you put in the question now you have the knowledge of a cylinder now can you draw that cylinder for you to see how it looks like cylinder we have been told that it has the diameter now the circular end the one that I've shown you is 1.4 meters and then we have the height 2 meters now the circular ends it will take you back to class 6 where you learn about a circle now we shall be finding the end of a circle because we're looking for the face this is face first and then the curve is the face now we're going to look at now this one. We start by the circles, area of the circles, area of the circles. Find the formula. Area is equal to pi r squared. Pi twenty two over seven by the radius a half of the diameter zero point seven meters by 0 0.7 meters 7 1 7 0 0.1 multiply all of it multiply all of it multiply all of it the two decimal places 1 2 1 2 So the 
area for the one side of the circle is 1.54. You find again the area of the other circle. Area of the other circle formula, area equals to pi r squared. 22 all over 7 by the same same radius 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 by 7 1 0.1 multiply 22 by this by this get your answers 1.4 square meters so this is the area for the both the circular x area for the both circular x now we want to find the area of the curved surface remember it is curved and when we cut our cylinder it forms a shape of a rectangle now we want to look at what we call the curved surface curved surface curved surface curved surface now on the curved surface on the curved surface how are we going to get the length of our curved surface. Curved surface. Our circumference, our circumference, the knowledge very important for you to know now, is equal to the length. Is equal to the length. And then we have our, our height. Our height is equivalent now to what we call the width. Called the width. Now, what is the formula for finding curved surface, curved surface area? Curved surface area is equal to pi d, pi d times height. Where is the pi d? Pi d represents the circumference, which is the length. And then height is the width. Now 22 over 7 times 1.4 times our height, which is 2 meters. All these are meters, remember to indicate 7, 1, 7 here and 0 0.2. When you multiply 22 by this one, 4.4. 4.4 times what one? You get 8.8 8 square meters. Now, we have found the area for the circular edge. Now, this is the complete cylinder. If you look at what I've done, the complete cylinder, this is now the, this is now the circular ends, the circular ends, and then this is the curved area. When we open that cylinder, it will have this. When you open it to form this, this is now what we call the curved surface. Now we are going to find the total surface area. Now you are supposed to combine, you are supposed to add the area for the circular ends plus the curved surface area. Now, the total surface area, total surface area, total surface, total surface area. You add 1.5. 4 square meters plus 1.5 4 square meters plus 8.8 .8 square meters put all that together where we have a space put the imaginary zero to make it a complete then 4 plus 4 is 8 5 plus 5 10 plus 8 18, put a decimal point, carry 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 8, 3 plus 8, 11. Now, the total surface area is 11.88 square meters. Square meters. Square meters. Now, you see, you, you, you have to look at uh, now the, the, the cylinder and check on it back very fast to make the summary of the question. Make the summary of the question. The cylinder is here with us. And you look at the cylinder, the cylinder, you look at it and you see and check on it. Now, 
the cylinder comes, it can, it is, made, is made of pieces. We have the circular end and we have the curved area. And how does the curved area come? You curve, you bend that metal sheet to form now that curved surface. And then the circular ends will fit at both the ends. And after doing that, you get it to know now the area of all the parts of it.